Hey there, welcome to my desk, uh, which is also in my guest bedroom, which I'll tell you about in just a moment. You, you may, if you've been following me a while, you might be wondering why the change of office space. I used to have this big grand office. Uh, we have a virtual team of about 40 people. We've chosen to do all virtual so that we can work from home, which is really nice and pleasurable. And, and uh, you know, there's a lot of pros and cons to a virtual company, but being home is one of them. Now, I used to be in the room next door, which is now Carrie's office. And the reason I'm here now, and I'm gonna take you through my desk, I'm gonna show you what's at my desk. I've been getting questions like, you know, what does your workspace look like? So I'll tell you about that in a moment. But the reason I'm in this room is because ever since we started online, and before we started online, we, Carrie and I have had small apartments in New York City, 500 square feet, 600 square feet. We had one that was like 1,400 square feet, which was huge for us. Um, and at every place, she always wanted her own room, a room that was hers, that you know she could do her thing in, it could be her room that would be for her creative, her creative space, you know? Uh, and we just never had room for that. And we finally move to the country. We get this big house. And somehow or another, it still ends up that all the rooms are categorized as not her. I mean, not as not hers. Like there's our bedroom, there's the guest bedroom, there's, you know, our gym downstairs, there's the living room. Like there wasn't a room that was hers. Yet I had an office because, you know, it's important that I have an office, I guess. Uh, but I would be like following her around with my laptop. I don't like to be closed away in a room. Uh, and so we thought, why, well, I thought, why not? Why don't you just have this office? Like, what do I need this thing for? So now I have a desk in our guest bedroom and it's phenomenal. She has an office, which is, she keeps much nicer than I kept it. So it's like a nice room now that you actually want to go into. Now, here's my desk. I want to take you, so that's why I'm in the guest bedroom, in case you were wondering. Uh, but I'd like to show you what's at my desk. Like I run an eight figure business and multiple seven figure businesses from this desk. And so I would like to take you on a tour of it. And then hopefully in the comments below this video on Facebook and on our blog, you show me your workspace. I'd love to see it. So, okay, what do we have here? Well, the first thing that we have is a, a uh, stand up desk and I'll link to the actual kind. So this thing goes down, it also goes up. So you can sit at it or you can stand at it, which is nice because it's nice to, to move and feel like you've got some space and not just be hunched over a computer all day. So for those of you who do not have a comfortable workspace, it changes your life. It just, because you're gonna spend a lot of time working. You wanna be comfortable. And you know, if you're working on the couch on a laptop, that's just not comfortable. So let's get you a nice, comfortable, open, big workspace with a big screen. I've got a Herman Miller chair. I don't know if it's on camera, but it's a nice, comfortable chair for when I wanna sit down. I have my Rode NTG USB microphone. Comes in and out here and um, makes me have good quality audio when I'm recording videos. I've got a, a, a Mac Pro, one of those tower Mac Pros. Nice speakers, uh, you know, so that it's nice audio in case you just wanna jam out to some prints or something like that. Um, I do have some crystals because I'm just kind of a weird crystal guy. I'm not actually a weird crystal guy, um, but I do have crystals on my desk and I like them. Uh, some of them were gifts, some of them I bought. Uh, I've got my jujitsu blue belt here, uh, which is an accomplishment that I recently achieved. Uh, I was a white belt in jujitsu. I was like the, the, the world's longest white belt. I reigned as a white belt for 18 years. I got my blue belt and it reminds me uh, that consistency and hard work pays off. So that's kind of cool. I like to have that on my desk. I also have this random uh, bowl of stuff. Uh, I've got pens in here. I've got like poker chips and matches and just weird things. I don't really know. You know, you gotta have a little bit of mess, I suppose, so I got that. Um, I have, uh, you know, of course, pictures of my loved ones that I get to look at. This is my wife, Carrie. Uh, and this is my wife, Carrie, when she was just a little muffin, uh, playing dress up. So I like to look down at that. I got my little lucky cat here. Um, I don't remember where I got this, but I love it. I think Carrie gave it to me as a gift, actually. Um, what else? I've got my keyboard, my mouse. Oh, I have a USB, and this is important, a Logitech USB uh, camera, and it's mounted here on a tripod. I don't know if it's visible in the frame, uh, but it, it, okay, it is visible in the frame. Um, but it's nice because when I'm doing Skype and I'm doing video messages, the difference between an HD webcam and the normal webcam that comes on your computer is, it changes the way that people perceive you. You will be judged on how you look. You just can't get around it. We are, as pe people, judge people based on how they look. And so looking nice is good. So I have a USB and I got, you know, window. I get to look out this window here and see the forest and I get light coming on me. Um, 
And I think that's it for the workspace. Oh, oh, what else I have, which is important, is I have an eight terabyte hard drive connected to my computer that's backing it up so that everything is in the cloud. So my whole computer is, is backed up in the cloud as well as on a hard drive. So that's important that you set that up as well. Um, and that's about it for my workspace. So I'd love to know what your workspace looks like. Please post a picture below this video with a, a picture of what your desk looks like and why you've set it up that way. And I wanna say one more thing, which is you'll notice there's only one screen. I used to have two screens. I even had three screens at one point. So why have I gone back to just one screen? Well, what I noticed was that when I had the two screens, I was always slightly turned this way or slightly turned this way, and it didn't feel good on my spine and my stomach to be constantly at an angle. So with one screen, I face forward, my hips are square, and it feels much better to sit and stand straight forward. And I actually find that I don't even miss the second screen, uh, personally, now, you may have a different opinion. So let me know what your desk looks like, take a picture of it, post below, tell me why you've set it up that way, what kind of stuff you have on there that people you think people might benefit from so we can all kind of see where we work. Ezra here from smartmarketer.com. Thanks for taking a tour of my desk. I'll see you soon.